Hi Taurus, it's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. Okay, thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. I'm pretty sure things are pretty cool for y'all at this time. I don't feel anything for those who are drawn to this message here today. But let's see what's going on because you just never know. Any information that you need is in the description box, darling. Yes. Yes. Okay. What information do you have for my Tarvians? Uh, talking fast tonight. Whatever it is that you are going through, whatever it is that whatever journey you are on on this part of your life's journey, your path is going to lead you to a space where you are really doing a lot of releasing. So give yourself about two or three months and it's back to the drawing board, Taurus. Y'all know what I mean. For those of you who have been here, it's been a long journey for the good old Taurians, honey. <clears throat> but y'all push through like the bulls that y'all are. Okay, the first card out is the um, Eight of Swords would be in the traditional deck. It is the owl tied up, caught up in a situation, caught up in your mind, feeling like you can't release yourself from um, something that has been weighing you down. I feel like it may be the way that you've been doing things. Like you may be in the habit of doing things a certain way and afraid to step out of your comfort zone, but they want you to go into, let me show you. Okay. They want you to go more into this space, which I feel like you're, it's going to be a natural uh, progression. You're going to go into that space. Going into a space of passive logic, uh, going into a space of feeling very balanced, going back into the heart so that you can see where it is that, where your truth lies, your personal truth here. Um, with this fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, I feel like you're going to go into this meditative state, right? Two, two, twos, 22. Um, yeah, twos. It's all about the twos, okay? So there's a lot of facing the truth in certain situations and letting things go, I really feel, and just getting to a space where you, there's calm clarity about your journey and where you are and where you are going. There's some things um, with the heart chakra that needs to be cleared out, released, let go, so that you can manifest this new life path, but before you can, I mean, this new part of your journey, but before you can even get to that space, you're going to have to clear the clutter here with the heart space, yeah. This is something being brought to your attention where you need to have more fun. But having fun in a space where you can work and have fun too, I feel. This is a lot of enlightenment coming in. Something is being revealed to you when you while you are in this space in the bullpen. Um, feeling like, you know, they just won't let me out of here. No, you can walk out of the tours. <laughs> okay? Um, with this all tied up as well. I feel as though some of you may be leaning more toward your past behaviors or past way of doing things. It no longer serves you, but you have to get to that space where you really are in agreement and alignment with that, though. And that's where this new life force, this new vitality comes in with that sun card. Maybe a Leo coming in because there is a, a king of pentacles here man holding the coin it may be a man who has his own business, someone who may be a father figure here. Yeah. All right. So there's a lot of sudden change. So you got the tower and the ten of cups. Whatever it is that is going to happen, that needs to happen, that is going to take you into this space of just um, bouncing out your masculine and feminine energy so that you can feel right in this world. You're going to move into this space with this ten of cups where you're going to realize what really matters to your heart. What does your heart truly desire? You're going to begin to allow yourself to forgive yourself and forgive others and come from a more compassionate space. It feels like there's going to be an alignment when it comes to uh, some type of relationship in your life or your relationships overall here this is something to do with um happiness joy bliss um feeling one with the one as well but also you have the root chakra and the magician in the mirror here with some rest and rejuvenation what's happening here is that there is some clearing out of your old beliefs but you gotta um start with the heart and then be in alignment and agreement with the heart hold on Mm -hmm. Be in alignment um, and agreement with um, believing and knowing that it is true. It is true. It is true. Mm -hmm. uh, releasing yourself from things that had you caught up and bound by um, the past. It could have been the way that you thought about relationships, the way that you thought about love, the way that you thought about compassion. Like, what is that? You really are realizing what that is on a whole other level and being able to communicate as well as feel from that level, do things from that level as well. 
Mm-hmm. That's what they said, Chad. Mm-mm-mm. I also feel that um, with this tower that is happening, with this upheaval that is happening, it's going to be very important that you sit and, um, you know, uh, analyze what you can, but look at things with a calm clarity when it comes to this uh, change that is happening because it's, it's time. The way that you view things, the way that you did things can no longer be if you want to move forward. That's what's being uprooted here. There's a lot of change coming in with this uh, fir um, first chakra in this root area, right? This is um, resolving past issues, resolving uh, past pains and heartaches, but overall releasing yourself from those so that you can manifest what it is that you truly desire. What does your heart truly desire? What is it that you truly want? And the only way to find that is to go into deep meditation. The only way to find it is to take a break. Take your goddess break. Take your spiritual breaks in order for you to really um, get in tune with your star player in alignment with your assignment here. I feel as though when you uh, come to this point where you are fearing the unknown or fearing this change that is happening with or without you, it's going to happen, right? Well, not without you. But I feel that this is, uh, with this page of cups, this is an offer that is coming in. This is a, probably like a romantic gesture or just overall you um, remembering your inner child, remembering what it was like when you really did um, um, hadn't gone through the things that you've gone through that, that hardened you or made you feel a certain way towards certain people, releasing that, right? But this is creative opportunities uh, uh, to your avail with this magician in the mirror. This is... Um, a lot of creativity, a lot of curiosity. Um, there's a lot of um, you wanting to collaborate with others, but what does that look like to you? So that's why you have to take that break. What does that look like? Because that's kind of scary, right? Um, because in the past, you may have trusted some of the wrong people or did things a certain way that um, it didn't end up the way that you thought it would, right? I also feel that some of you may need to get out um, in the woods, get out in the forest, get out in nature for whatever reason, right? It may be to ground, but also it may be for you to get um, listen, get out and listen to the trees more, get out and, you know, um, enjoy just being um, in nature, right? You may even want to um, get some potted plants for your home or what have you, but overall, two of cups. So you got the three of cups and the two of cups. This is reconciliation. This could be um, getting back with a partner or friends or someone that you have a mutual attraction with here and you already knew they were coming or you knew that um, this would be the time for this to come okay what is this teamwork a lot of collaborating okay so now it's time for you to expand and now it's time for you to look at things from a different perspective so that you can um, manifest your desires when it comes to that magician in the mirror and the options that will be available to you someone is coming in to present some things to you this may even be that you are dating a realtor or will be dating a realtor whatever now then <clears throat> I do feel like um, before you make a decision, you're going to uh, pull back. But um, I, uh, there's something about with your path, you uh, straightening out um, who you are, how you connect to others, how you connect to nature. Uh, some of you may be environmentalists as well or deciding to do some type of mission work that has to do with the, envir the environment. Uh huh. So that there's a different. You went. You're going through a transformation. What this transformation is going to take for you to pull yourself back from people, here, certain places and situations, in order for you to transition into this newness. Right? There are old parts of you that are dying or that have died or dying away. So now you have to get your balance back. With doing so, there's a lot of clarity, a lot of confirmation, and a lot of collaborators that will be coming your way now that you have opened up this part of your life. There's going to be fast-paced change with this Eight of Wands. There's also going to be there's that King of Pentacles. So you have the King of Cups somewhere. I thought I saw a King of Cups. I guess I didn't. But this, uh, this uh, King of Pentacles and this Three of Wands here is um, you know that something is on the horizon. You know that something is on its way. You don't know what it is. You don't know, you know, um, how it's going to go, but things are going to begin to happen very fast. This could also be communication. This could also be a lot of information coming in mentally, um, a lot of creative ideas. So keep a pen and paper handy. Keep your voice recorder handy. Something that will keep you in tune with um, being able to um, jot down notes. That, that while you're in tune with your star player. 
But there's a lot of action um, once you realize what which way you need to go and how you need to go. Some of you may even be some type of leader or in a leadership position. And now you have all these different directions that you can go with this, but they need you to strategize. They need you to get it together, put it down on paper and make it happen. Uh, write out what your team looks like, how, to, how that team works together or what have you, because it's going to take a lot of discipline. This person may even be coming in to help you become more disciplined. I know y'all are earth sign, but this is someone who has earth qualities. They may not be an earth sign. Um, I feel like there's a promotion coming in as well here. Um, you also have here some type of heartbreak or sorrow or grief that needs to um, be re released from you here when it comes to how you move about in the world, right? You are no longer wanting to block your blessings. I feel like many of you are praying and hoping and wishing and doing all of these things to try and um, get clarity, but the clarity comes when you relax in your process. All right, let's see here. So um, I feel as though there may be some ideas shared between friends that is going to bring you into some type of partnership that is going to be very much so a creative opportunity, a way of growing here, and it's going to bring you out of that space of feeling lonely, regretful, or what have you. Uh, teamwork again, right? Um, there are, with you going through this transition, you're going to realize um, how you have expanded and how your vision has expanded overall. So now you are ready for the road. You're ready to get some things done, ready to do what needs to be done. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. If you are having any type of issues with your chest, something about your left nipple, your left chest, your left this. Right, so anything to do with your left, the left side of your body, I feel like it's going to be healed in a space where you did what you needed to. You took the time off, even though you wanted to make, you want to do things, you want to get out, you want to, you know, um, not listen to your doctor or whatever. Whatever happened in this space when you really sat down and got in tune with your star player, you go back to the doctor and they cannot believe that you are healed. They cannot believe that there are no signs of something that was in your chest. And this sends, this puts you on your temple path. Yep. Now, there may be um, you you realizing on your temple path how independent you will need to be moving forward in this journey, but also be an independent thinker, you see. Um, setting clear boundaries and direct communication here. Now, you may be dealing with um, a, another Taurus or a Libra with this Empress energy, but I'm saying that your independence is key to your um, ability to mature and also to... Um, to um, receive the abundance that is yours, right? And in order for you to manifest this abundance, you're going to have to stay on your path. I'm not saying that if you decide to go left or right that you'll be off your path. Sometimes there are detours, right? That's why, um, you know, hey. This is clear boundaries, clear judgment, yep. And here is the Knight of Cups, right? So your creativity um, is at the forefront, but I also feel that someone is enamored by your beauty. Someone is enamored by the way that you do things. Someone is enamored like a motherfucker. Okay, they are enamored. And with this, they can just see themselves. They, they are very intuitive and they, are very, they have a huge imagination, so they might be a little freaky bitch. So, yep. You may meet them at a party. You may meet them when you're out with friends. You may meet them while you are discussing business ideas with this other earth sign here. And um, you feel like a relationship is extra responsibility or you feel like this person is like pushing you or trying to push your, your boundaries here and you don't know. You need more clarity. And you, it feels like you're going to get in the space of um, speaking your truth, standing in your truth and being the authority in your life in order to let people, like let this person know how you are moving and what it is that you are moving towards. So I feel like if you have to choose between the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, you are choosing the King of, King of Pentacles. Or if you are choosing between love and finances, you are choosing finances over love. You're choosing your business over your relationships at this time. So I take it how it resonates. Um, but I do feel like you are. there's a lot of fast-paced change. There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of shaking hands and holding babies. Um, some of you may be in politics or um, taking the political route when it comes to dealing with certain people and situations. And you are very um, focused on what it is that you want you're focused on your dreams your visions your goals with this temple path coming here you're real these are like dreams realized and you finally like the light bulb going off here 
<clears throat> what is this adjacent possibilities? What is this? It's gonna bring stability though, I know that. See? So some of you may have even been dealing with a Virgo or you are just going into this space of introspection. You are going into this space where you are being led. Where I am led is where I am fed. I live by it. So, um, this is uh, possibly being alone so that you can figure out which direction to go and how to go moving forward. Um, I feel as though there may be a queen of wands who is very sociable and tries to get you out, take you out of your comfort zone possibly, or you could be taking on this queen of wands energy where you are confident, you are courageous, um, and determined to uh, following your inner guidance, but doing it in a way where it's going to bring you this Ten of Cups, this joy, this emotional joy, this emotional bliss, this life bliss, this abundance and everything that you are searching for. But overall, this is you um, partnering up with, making a decision possibly between love interests. Again, um, the, queen of, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So you may be finally, you know, finding someone or being in harmony and balance in your life overall with family, friends, or what have you, but you're very confident. Um, you, I feel like some of you have made a decision that you need someone as outgoing as you are here. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Yeah. You're in tune with your lower um, nature. You're in tune with temptation. And you are dis you are choosing based on this alignment and not this uh, restriction or perverse way of um, thinking or doing things here. This is shadow uh, self or like um, your attachments or what have you. And you want, you got the queen of wands and the king of wands. So you want your counterpart. You want someone who matches your fly. You want someone who is a natural born leader. And they have visions and um themselves right they can create opportunities you can create opportunities and to get together i don't know y'all building some shit Ooh, chat but i also see this as uh, maybe you are pulling yourself away here from someone um or some way of thinking or some way of uh the way that you view um possibly someone who is in politics who um is you, you the connection between you and this individual may have been fear based or you had false hopes about that so that may be what you are um weighing your future on based on this past person or if this is political this may be uh you realizing that you were supporting someone who um was not in alignment with your future uh, goals and you're being confident about how you are walking away or this is someone outside of you shitstorm Victory and the man holding the heart. I knew the King of Cups was going to come up out of there. All right, he came up out of there a while ago, didn't he? Now, <clears throat> there may be some type of issue or something that happens here. Yeah, when it comes to your financial security, there's some type of upheaval here or some type of contribution that is made with the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, and you're, you have to, you go into the space where you have to be very practical about what is going on, who you um, assist with what, right? Um, they're saying that it's very important that you, um, your long-term success, I don't feel like your long-term success will be um, infiltrated. What I feel like with this shift on what is happening is that this is just something that was destined to happen. It has something to do possibly with your work or your views at work or, yeah. This is teaching you about where you are saving money, how that money is drawing interest or what have you with this Four of Pentacles. Um, being more in control of your finances overall, yeah, because things are about to move fast. So this had to happen in order for you to see, um, remember your survivor mode or remember um, scarcity, what it's like to uh, go through those things um, that maybe you came out of a long time ago, but you had to be reminded. Maybe you got comfortable and began to view things in a certain way and got to a space where you needed to view things from the space where you are now or how you are now or how you do things now and how do you want to be uh, victorious in the future you are a victor right not a victim and that's why you got the victory card coming up after that with that victory card that is coming up after that i feel as though you may be making a sudden move or some sudden changes that are going to uh really uh represent the new way that you move about in life with that king that queen of wands you are um changing things or things have changed for you here <clears throat> you are realizing that the decisions that you've made 
were not um, a mistake after that shit storm. You made the right decisions. You overcame some challenges that came up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And now you know how um, what that balance is with the Six of Pentacles. Now you understand about sharing well, generosity, charity, and um, re reciprocation, right? Give and take, right? And this is that balance coming back through. I feel like this is going to be a very balancing time. Any conflict or confusion or chaos that comes when it comes to how you view yourself and how you view the world and how you want to be viewed or what have you, um, that's going. you may have some type of um, back and forth with yourself with that, but I feel like eventually you're going to get it together, meditate on it, and move forward. Yeah, because of that abandonment or attachment issues or um, there are some like some type of restrictions that had you feeling this way and then you go into this space where you're going to face your fears right you're going to go into this space where you are no longer who you were many of you are doing a lot of inner child work as well with that inner child work what is happening here is with the page of pentacles um it feels i feel as though um this is uh some something that you are working on that is going to reap reward here you are developing a skill when it comes to how you um are manif um how you want to manifest uh this new life right fire and water and air okay elements yep hard work knight of pentacles knight of swords knight of wands and the moon So now you will be inspired here. There may even be some travel, but when it comes to the decisions that you need to make, you want to take this Knight of Swords with you. The ability to um, use uh, your intellect, right? Think on your feet. So I feel like you're going to take on all of these when it comes to how you move forward. But overall, um, I feel like you'll be very inspired moving forward. I feel as though there may even be this uh, energy of a Knight of Wands and a Knight of Swords. Someone may be coming in to tell you something or reveal something to you that you do need um, to hear, but they don't want, uh, it may be important or I, su I suggest that you uh, not... Uh, Respond from emotion or not just, you know, hop in a car, like hopping in riding in cars with boys, right? Hey, 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 if you do this and then you can do this and do that and do this, no. Because here's the thing. <clears throat> oh, that's the moon card about how others see you and how you view the world. Here's the thing. There's something that is going to be revealed to you in this moment. Within that moment of them talking, within that moment of their ambitious uh, dialogue, within that moment, like you're going to see this person differently, right? So with that being said, it's like you are going to take into... Um, take into account how you need to be more like this knight of pentacles right you really need to work hard but you need to work hard and be diligent at one thing at a time uh paying a meticulous de uh, detail to uh, meticulous uh, paying attention to detail what <coughs> excuse me Paying attention to detail here, but something is going to be revealed to you. This person is revealing something but as well something is being revealed to you with this moon card okay with this moon card, with this Knight of Wands energy, um, I feel as though someone might, may want to take you on a trip here. Uh, they're saying that it's important for you not to get in your feelings about a, something that may happen on this trip. Because you're going to need to be fast on your feet when it comes to uh, communication here. No, we're in a hold when we're in a fold. Yeah, with that uh, chariot that is um, travel. It could also be uh, you being able to um, travel um, quickly in between worlds as well, especially when you are honing your gifts. Riding the chariot of ascension is uh, maybe something that is very important for you at this time as well. This man holding the heart is coming in to try and stop this king of pentacles. Yep. they. This is someone who... Um, makes you you feel at home with this is someone who may even be um you may be invited to their home for a party or it's something about a home your home their home somebody's home but overall what i feel like with this person i feel you know this person celebrates you like a celebrity this person uh really brings something out of you that other people do not bring out of you but there's a lot of stagnation with this person and you are trying to still manifest what it is you got the magician again and the star so this may be a renewal of an old relationship someone uh here that um, is healing has healing energy 
But overall, when it comes to you overall, this is guidance coming in. This is guidance guidance about your power, your ability to manifest what it is that you want. You manifested this person, you manifested that person. Because you are on the chariot of ascension. Oh, wow. Moving between worlds. Uh, some of you may even begin to uh, hear bumps in the night. When it comes to... You may begin to hear bumps in the night when it comes to uh, the things that are happening uh, to get your attention here. <clears throat> and it's part of your synchronicity is hearing stuff. You're going to be hearing stuff, baby. Now, yeah, this person wears their heart on their sleeve. So I, don't, I think that you want to be careful with that person. Hold on. What is this shit storm? Yeah. Up, this this may have something to do with the, with um uh, with being uprooted or some type of chaos happening, a tower moment, whatever, or someone just revealing something something to you that is um, emotional as a motherfucker. Like you cannot believe this person feels like this towards you. You cannot believe like this could even be your intuition kicking in to the point where you can see. Uh, certain uh, events happening or uh, tragedies or what have you happening. Um, but this is also that compassion, that Ace of Cups. This is also that compassion that you are realizing um, that you have for certain people or what compassion really is and how that is, what that is to you on this temple path. But overall, some of you may even be initiated into um, priesthood here. Yep, the world. You finally get it. It's finally time to let that shit go. It's going to be a lot of crying. It's going to be a lot of slow singing and flower bringing. You're going to be feeling some type of way. Even if this is someone that lives at a distance from you that wants to come to you or bring you where uh, bring you where they are. <clears throat> um, they want to integrate. They're the perfect balance and harmony for you in this new relationship. This is groundbreaking. You ready? You gonna do it? Some of y'all, some of you will not. Maybe conflicts or disagreements on the timing. It may be uh, trying to get away from this person because you they want to win. They want to win at all costs. They'll do whatever it takes to get you um, with them. So I just feel like some people are fighting over y'all. The boys are fighting. Yep, two of swords, two of pentacles. Hmm. Weighing up your options, trying to figure it out, trying to see what it is, what move you need to make and how here. Because you got all these things that you have to do um, concerning your time and adaptability, but you also have these um, things that you've been, you know, trying to avoid. And now it's at the forefront. Like, I mean, the shit didn't hit the fan. What are you gonna do when they're gonna for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So here we are. It's time to make a, a decision. It's time to uh, really um, bring that balance into your life that is necessary. If you don't, it's just it's going to happen like this, right? So you can go ahead and start working on it now. Working on what it is that um, you want to manifest and exactly be very intentional because you got people coming up in here that it's going to be hard to decide between what they're going to confuse you. And the thing is, there are no perfect people. Taurus. One person gonna bring you snacks, the other person gonna buy you clothes, child. I don't know. Or maybe maybe I should say one person gonna buy you a house and the other person to buy you a restaurant. You gotta make up your mind. It is your life, honey. Give me one more call for Taurus. I'm gonna go. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see. Eyes wide shut. I'm gonna go. Let's see.